I'm going to show you guys a really quick tip that's going to change everything if you follow it. I want you to remember the thumb trick. The thumb trick is basically this. Usually whenever you're learning chords as a beginner, you're learning, say for instance, an A minor, like this with your thumb on the back, right? And it sounds like this when you play them all. Not terrible, but something's missing, something's off, right? Same thing with the D. It's not bad, but there's something weird, right? And that's because you're not muting. A lot of playing well is actually not playing certain things, or muting stuff in this case. So I want you for all of your open chords, with the exception of only two types, to use that thumb trick. So I want you to use your thumb trick for any chord that has a root note that is not on the E string. So a C major, root note, thumb trick. Just touch the side of it very lightly. Don't come around, just the side. A minor. A major. D major, especially D major, because that E does not belong in that D major chord. D minor as well, of course. Here's what that sounds like, by the way, with an E. Right? So get that thumb in there, get rid of it. I'm still aiming for the D string, my root note. But I'm now, I've got insurance. Okay, and now that's gonna be for all of your open chords with the exception of the G and the E's. Okay, so G, your root note's right there on the E string. All bets are off. I tuck my thumb back here, get them out of the way. E minor, bring my thumb out, let it breathe. Same thing for E major. But your root notes are right here on the E string. Now, of course, this goes for any chord, uh, any open chord in which that root note does not belong on the E string. So use your imagination. Seven chord, thumb at sevens, uh, major sevens, minor sevens, all that, it, it applies. Uh, and then the weird exception is um, the F, okay? So for an F, play that power chord, I'm sorry, the bar chord. In that case, no thumb, right? If you're playing the F, like I like to play my Fs a lot, which is just kind of all that stuff in between, the A, D, G, and B strings, um, muting low and high E is how I'll do that. Okay, so thumb trick for the F as well. All right, you guys, hope that helped. Thank you.